Hello. On the left, there is an Arduino Nano connected to the computer via USB. There is also an LED that is connected to pin 13 and ground with a resistor in the middle. If you don't have the resistor, then the LED will burn out. So it is very important to keep a resistor. The resistor is 220 ohms. On the right, there is an iOS device. You can also use Android. I am using iOS. First, download and install Blink from the App Store or Play Store. Then launch it. Create an account and log in make a new project change the project's name Change the name of the hardware to Arduino Nano. We have to change this because we are using an Arduino Nano. And over here, there is the authentication token. The authentication token is like a password that the phone is looking for on the Arduino. And if you click this button, it will refresh your password. You should not share your password or authentication token ever to anybody. I I'm going to refresh it after this video. If you click this button, it will email the authentication token to yourself. So, now you want to click this button. If you prefer SMS, then you can tap this and it will copy it to your clipboard. Now create a project. Double tap anywhere in the black area. After you double tap, grab a button. Move the button to wherever you want. Now tap on the button. You can change the name of the button over here. And now you have to change the pin to whatever pin it is connected to. The pin it is connected to right now is supposed to be pin 13. Now click OK. This makes it a push button or a switch. A push button will turn the LED on and you keep pressing the button and if you let it go then it'll turn off. But otherwise with a switch it will stay on if you tap it once and it will stay off if you tap it another time. I'm going to keep it at push button. Now click OK. Double tap in the back area. Grab push notifications. If it says, if it says has this red thing over here, you might want to delete some of the other projects.
No? Go back to this project and see if it lets you do push notifications. Now it will. Now tap it and drag it wherever you want. Now tap on the push notification and it will go to notification settings. Turn this switch on. This switch will notify you when the Arduino is disconnected. This switch changes the priority. I will switch it to high. You can switch it to low if you want to. Now open the email. It has been sent by dispatcher at blink.cc. Copy the authentication code. And launch Arduino. To go to the example, go to File, Examples, Blink, Boards USB Serial, Arduino Serial USB. Now, scroll down to where it says, um, Character Authentication, right here. Replace this your authentication code with the authentication code sent in the email. Now we are set to upload. Make sure that it's connected to the correct COM port and it is set to Arduino Nano. Okay, it's done. So now you can minimize the Arduino and then launch File Explorer. Go to the area where you installed Arduino. I installed it in this PC and then local disk C, program files x86, Arduino. And then, after you get here, go click on Libraries. Now, click on Blink and Scripts. And now, you want to edit this to. You want to edit blink.ser.bat, this file. And then, you have to change it to your COM port. My COM port is COM7. If this is some other COM port other than your COM port on your Arduino Nano, then change it to that. And then save it. Okay. Now, click on the navigation bar and then type in CMD and then enter. Now type blink and then click tab blink ser dot bat and then click enter. Okay, now it is connected to the Arduino Nano. So far, we have uploaded the code with the authentication token to the Arduino, and we have run blink-ser.batch file. What this program does is it relays the commands from the Arduino to the cloud, from the cloud to the Arduino. The app on the phone does the same thing. Now, let's go back to the app. Click the play button, which is located over here, where my cursor is. 
Now, the LED should work. As you can see, it works when I tap on. Now, I will change this to switch. And play it. This is how switch looks like. Now you can control this LED from anywhere in the world. Now, with the notification, you can disconnect the Arduino, and now it will give you a blink notification.